So you just received your Fusion 49 inch GPL light bar and now you're wondering how do you hook it up? Well welcome to the UBL garage and let me show you how. You'll notice when you receive your light bar there's three wiring harnesses on the bottom. The first one is your power wire. This is a heavy gauge red and black wire. These will supply continuous power to your light bar and typically you wouldn't wire a switch in between here. Hooking these up won't turn the light on, it'll just give the light bar power. You'll want to fuse these within 12 inches of your battery with a fuse at 125% of the amp draw, which is 15 amps. 125% of that is 18.75 amps, which doesn't exist. So in this case, a 20 amp fuse will work great. Your next wiring harness is the data link cable. This has a plug on the end, and this allows you to use a 4200 and connect it via data link and not have to worry about any additional wiring except for the power wires. I have a 4200 here that I've programmed and set up to function with the light bar. You'll notice on the side of my 4200 relay, there's four different connectors. The first one is for the controller. This is where I will hook up the 4200 controller. The next ones are for a light bar and if I wanted to add an additional storm, 100 watt or 200 watt via data link also. I'll use port one for this example. Now I'll need to power up the light bar. My 4200 is powered up and I've already programmed the buttons on the outside to do various functions of the light bar. This would be my mode one, mode two, and mode three. This is a dim mode. I've also set it up to work my directional bar. I have my left and right alleys, as well as flood mode set up. So that's the basics of the 4200. Your next option, if you don't have data link, or don't want to use the controller, or use a different controller, you can use the hard wiring harness. This harness will allow you to essentially do everything I just did, but you'll have to hook up each one of these wires individually to get the various functions to activate. These are where you'll want to attach your switches or controller, and these will turn the light bar and the different functions on and off. Now keep in mind, any of these features that you don't want to use, whether it be with the hard wire or the data link, are simply just disregarded and not used. In the most simplest fashion, you could just hook up one switch that turns the light bar on and off to just make it flash. So that's the basics of operating and powering up your Fusion 49 inch GPL light bar. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.